despite the raging heat, the garden still survives. I'm gonna be making some changes in here tomorrow. This whole bed is gonna go bye bye. I'm gonna pick all of those blushing tomatoes so that they can finish ripening all the way. It's evolving, ever changing. Beautiful, beautiful place. Okay, this is hornworm number three. The first guy was so big he got a pass and got to go pupate on a weed nightshade. Second one got fed to the chickens because it was too young to let survive and have it risk coming back to my garden. And this third one has taken bites out of my Cherokee purple tomato. That's a crime I cannot forgive. He is toast. To the chickens you go. I think I'm going to give it to this sweet old man rooster. There you go, sweet old man. Enjoy that treat. I've never seen a fly try to eat a tomato hornworm. This is new. And apparently my tomato hornworm population is higher than I thought because this is the fourth, this is the fifth, and there's sign of another one over on the other side of this bed. So I do have a hornworm issue. I am like everybody else. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I just came out here to just listen to the night sounds and collect myself after dinner. And I went to sit down and I saw this guy crawling around. I said, what are you doing on my table? That's a really odd place for you. And then I remembered what was in this face. What was in this face? Oh my gosh. My rooted tomatoes. This was a full of vegetation. This guy right here. Really? Really, dude? What do you got to say for yourself? Oh, it's on. Tomato hornworms are no longer getting free passes in my garden. See what that good karma got me. <laughs> hmm. We've got capped brood with capped honey at the top. Okay, that's beautiful. That's good. I see lots of pollen on the legs. I am filming, FYI. Yeah. I mean, they're building their comb a little wonky, bubbly like. Uh, that last frame was kind of tunneled. It's heavy. I need to okay. put it back. Just, it looks like good lighting. All right. Is there anything I can do to correct this wonky combing? Or do I just leave it and let them finish it out? Put this hive beetle trap. Do it. You can 
can tell this is wax he used that was older. Not the first year it's been made, but it's darker color. Lots of pollen. Oh good, I see all the stages of babies right over here. If you can look in there. So you see the larva and the pollen patties and stuff. I think so. <clears throat> That's awesome. Very good sign to see. I do see a bee with its, it, um, that has been smushed, so be on the lookout for any signs of retaliation on that. I'd be willing to bet that this queen is probably near my hand because of how they're clustered up here, but that might just be because we just busted their honey right there, and they're eating it. But they got honey, they have capped brood. Look, this one hatching. Where? Right there. Do you see it? Do you see yep, the antenna? Yep, yep, I got it. Wow, that's so cool. Very cool. Now the other comb I can see is messed up like the other hive, so... I don't know why they're doing those tunneled. One has to do with this heat. bugs last night and they are working hard to control these aphids on our Chinese red noodle beans so they are sticking around because there's plenty of food for them Silly little ducky. Oh, 
Come here and do it. Psycho. Oh my goodness. She is terrifying. Just trying to help. 